hello friends welcome back i'm faraz and in today's excel video we will learn how to move the grand total column to the left side in your pivot table so this would be a really interesting trick so stay along with me and make sure that if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button and let's dive in and build the solution together so i have the data set and whenever we are going to insert a pivot table over here uh, anywhere in our this data set let's go insert it in an existing workbook and let's say yes and when we drop the products over here and when we have a locations which we will be dropping it into the columns and uh, let's imagine you have a lot of columns which have the country names and when you do the quantity sold uh, you get that total so there's no way where we can move this to the beginning or anywhere but I have a solution for this one it's a very easy solution so what you need to do is uh, just add an help column let's say that you wanted to total up the quantity so I will just call this as uh, quantity sold dot two okay so I'm just using this as a helper column for my records and now we have records how many records do we have over here so we have laptop mobile and ps4 all you need to do is just insert three rows on top of it now if you have more data over here then you need to add those many rows over here to your original source data so i'm just slightly going to play with my source data over here and i'm just going to copy this come here and paste it now in place of location this is really interesting and what you need to do is write over here grand total and I'm just going to call it as grand total everywhere now the the main part which is over here about how can you get it so all you need to do is just apply one simple formula and uh, let's say sum ifs ifs I, I always prefer to use sum ifs and I'm going to say hey sum ifs this quantity column which is their quantity comma and the the criteria range will be the product which right time doing for the product comma and the criteria would be product now close parentheses enter and you are getting that repeated value all the places now just copy this formula what we have created control x and command x in fact i'm using mac so if uh this is your logic let's say that this is equals to grand total and comma then if it is a grand total yes then you give me the grand total sums value which we have done it in sum if otherwise just simply return me the quantity and close parentheses that's it and it should work fine yes now this is a data set which i have to prepare it now let me go to the pivot analyze just refresh my data set we have this quantity two sold over here and we are just simply going to add it and we got that grand total over here you can see the grand total is over here now you must be wondering that for us why this grand total is different and this is so this is summing up this information as well so if you see make sure that you don't show this grand total so you can go to designs and grand total and you can turn off all of them and now you have your data ready you can have your grand total over here voila it's done super cool super easy trick isn't it you can you can switch it anywhere you can move it anywhere in this columns now i have some new data set let's try it out some new data i have uh, another 300 records and I'm just simply going to copy this from here, my data, and I'll come here and I'll paste it over here, not on the top. I always prefer it to add that information on the top so that you can easily visualize where the things are going wrong in case if it is wrong in this. So let's go and paste this as values. And I have some more countries as well. Right click, refresh, bam you have all those countries also added over here so i totally agree you know sometimes you have 
that total which goes all the way uh, to the right right side and it's very difficult you need to scroll it every time then come it over here but this is a trick how you can do it and you know the deal now so let me know in the comment section about this trick how to handle the grand total and move it to the left last but not the least if you want to some explore some more amazing tips and tricks uh, we are going to have a mega event called my data summit uh, myself i'm the organizer with my friend algar who is from azerbaijan we are hosting this event on 5th 6th and 7th of september it will be a jam packed mega event for three days we are going to talk about excel and power automate and some awesome technologies over there so if you haven't registered for this event make sure that you go and register and you can find the coupon code in the below video description which says f-a-r-a-z dash 10 for us 10 so you can get a 10 percent discount make sure that you don't miss that opportunity because we have a lot of celebrities over there excel celebrities microsoft community managers and we have even the linkedin instructions so make sure that you go and grab your tickets right away so let's meet in our next video till then take care happy learning bye